Ever since the moment that our universe was created by the Big Bang more than 13.7 billion years ago, scientists have never stopped searching for answers in the process of our formation. For all the mysteries that have emerged regarding the black void that seems to surround us, that did not stop our minds from imagining the most terrifying aliens, TV shows, and science fiction concepts. Yet, as scientists venture on into the void day by day, they are only shedding more light on what is out there in the vastness of space. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at some of the latest advancements in the field of space exploration. Scientists have just detected a powerful space laser beaming from deep space. Literally less than a month ago, scientists discovered an immensely powerful radio wave laser. So powerful, it is referred to as a mega maser, from the new Meerkat telescope in South Africa. Not only is it a super strong beam, but it is also the most distant mega maser that they have been able to detect from Earth to date with estimates putting it at about 5 billion light-years away from us. Scientists from the team who discovered this mega maser explain that these are usually formed when two galaxies collide violently. When this happens, the gases from within these galaxies become extremely dense and can shoot out highly concentrated beams of light. This new mega maser has been officially named Nkala Kathu, a Zulu word appropriately meaning Big Boss. The discovery has also triggered excitement around the Meerkat telescope's potential. Dr. Glowacki, from the team of scientists, remarks that it's impressive that, with just a single night of observations, we've already found a record-breaking megamaser. It shows just how good the telescope is. The record-breaking discovery and insight into the power of Meerkat has the scientific community extremely hopeful about what they might discover next from this survey as they proceed by observing narrower parts of the night sky in extremely deep detail. The end goal will be to better understand the evolution of our universe and creation and formation of various galactic phenomena like megamazers themselves. Multiple supernovas may have implanted our solar system with the seeds of planets. Stars are incredibly complex celestial bodies. They go through multiple phases during their lifetime, all of which can determine the next one. They certainly look pretty. The stars in the universe have plenty of question marks around them, making them great points of scientific research. Some 2021 research suggests that a series of exploding stars could be what led to the right climate and conditions for our solar system to exist as we know it today. The research study has been aiming to investigate the conditions of a star-forming region so that we can compare these conditions to those found in our early solar system. Where we see some similarities, we might then be able to piece together exactly how the radioactive elements that we know are crucial to allowing planets to form appeared around the Sun in the first place. The team began their study by using condensed, solid material from the cloud of dust that surrounded the newly formed star. Perhaps, the most important element found here is aluminium-26, an element that has a somewhat short lifetime and given the long time it takes to form a planet, we can conclude that the source of the element was somewhat close by. Following a series of observations, some researchers have concluded that perhaps it is not a singular source providing the aluminium-26, but rather multiple supernovas. A supernova is the end of a star's life cycle. The star explodes, releasing its mass and causing a sudden surge in brightness. Aluminium-26, the crucial element, is found in the center of massive stars. It is one of many elements formed within them. When the star therefore explodes and the object's materials are distributed across the galaxy, this element that is known to allow planets to form is therefore spread throughout space. When researchers began to take a closer look at the timeline, it is not impossible for this to be an explanation. But some scientists are suggesting that it is improbable. The mass of the star combined with the short span of the element would mean this explosion would have had to occur incredibly recently. For now, what we know for certain is that the impact of aluminium-26 upon the galaxy is incredible, with significant changes occurring thanks to it being there. We just are not quite sure exactly how it got there 
just yet. There is a radio telescope on the far side of the moon. As we expand into space, thoughts of moon colonization often flow into people's minds. And, indeed, various organizations have made attempts at establishing a human presence on the moon. In December 2018, the Chinese Lunar Exploration Program sent a mission lander U-22, otherwise known as Jade Rabbit 2, onto the moon, making the rover the very first to land successfully on the dark side of our moon. The same mission, the fourth part of the Chinese Lunar Exploration Program's Change 4 mission, was the first robotic spacecraft to plant and sow seeds on the moon. The NCLE, known as Netherlands China Low Frequency Explorer, orbited the moon and was designated to catch radio frequencies between 80 kHz and 80 MHz. As the name suggests, the project is a collaboration between the Netherlands and China, specifically China's National Space Agency and the Netherlands Institute for Radio Astronomy. Astron has been working on radio astronomy for decades now and is responsible for the WSRT or the Westerbork Synthesis Radio Telescope and the EVN, European Very Long Baseline Interferometry Network. The NCLE allows China and the Netherlands to observe radio astronomy occurring by the dark side of the moon, which is believed to be ideal as it is far removed from human interference. The radio telescope is going to capture emissions from the 21 cm emissions range, Places in space that we believe are linked to past periods in the universe's history, such as the elusive Cosmic Dawn, a cosmic era previously unknown to us. Using the telescope, there is a chance we could examine the light that could help us understand a plethora of things about the universe, such as the logistics behind dark matter and when the first stars were created, or how the galaxies formed. The director of Radbu Radio Lab, Dr. Mark Klein Watt, officially stated, our contribution to the Chinese Chang'e mission has now increased tremendously. We have the opportunity to perform our observations during the 14-day-long night behind the moon, which is much longer than was originally the idea. Three years of hard work are finally paying off for both Dutch and Chinese scientists as they unfurl the telescope's antennas and begin this new era of cosmic science for us. Scientists of all nations worldwide are eagerly awaiting the emissions the NCLE will capture during its run. Heino Falk of the Radboud University, professor of astrophysics and radio astronomy said, We are finally in business and have a radio astronomy instrument of Dutch origin in space. The team has worked incredibly hard and the first data will reveal how well the instrument truly performs. Evidently, the NCLE is a national pride of both the Netherlands and China. The antennas were supposed to be released far sooner than they were, but due to a large amount of data suggesting they would deteriorate and break, researchers made the executive decision to gather more information before proceeding. Currently, the antennas are picking up cosmic intel from an estimated 13 billion years before our time, when the universe was still in its infancy. They are still unfurling at a slow, steady rate, and once they completely unfold, we are sure to discover signals that were emitted from the Big Bang itself. As such, we will know an immeasurable amount of information about us, where we come from, and about the centre of existence. Huge solar storm struck the Earth on Halloween over the Halloween weekend, plenty of us put our skepticism aside and dress up, go on ghost walks and keep our eyes peeled for something creepy and unusual. But what if I told you that spooky aura sighting and strange way your GPS would not load was not the result of the paranormal or the supernatural, but rather the astronomical? On October 29, 2021, a large solar flare erupted from the sun. This solar flare could have resulted in a coronal mass ejection, hitting the Earth during the Halloween weekend period. A CME means that electrically charged matter is emitted into the nearby magnetic fields and into space as a whole. The solar flare was categorized as an X1 class solar flare, meaning it is ranked as the most powerful. For those unfamiliar with how solar flares are graded, the system is not too dissimilar from earthquakes. NASA described the event as a significant solar flare. 
Dr. Tamitha Skolf, a space where the physicist tweeted, a direct hit for Halloween. She continued to explain that the eruptions we could expect here on Earth included aura sightings, amateur radio disruptions, and issues with GPS reception. While this might all sound rather frightening to those of us who do not know much about these solar flares, NASA were quick to provide reassurance, explaining that the harmful radiation that comes from a solar flare cannot pass through the Earth's atmosphere to cause harm to us. Though, if they are of a high enough classification and are intense enough, they can cause some disruptions to some layers of the atmosphere, for instance, impacting GPS and communication signals. Unfortunately, this means that the usual telltale signs that you may have bumped into some lingering spirits could be easier for the non-believers to debunk and dismiss this year. Whilst you can still dress up or head on out on your ghost walk, do not get too excited when you are telling your mates about that spirit you saw and how your Google Maps would not load up because it may just have been the solar flares tricking you. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.